Okay guys, this is another edition of Shockbox. Now Shockbox is where I read your emails that you sent to me and I received an email from Sean and it's a good idea Sean, I'm going to do it. It says possible ride conversation topic. Hey Shock, it's me again, Sean. I listened to the radio shows you recommended to me and I enjoyed them. They were very entertaining. I am still always thinking and considering buying a sport bike in the future. Your uh, motivation for them dealing with longer distance travel helps a lot. Now he goes through this and his uh, idea is excellent. Sean, excellent idea. I'm going to do it right now. It says, uh, I was thinking today uh, of different things that you can possibly get the word out about while doing one of your free ray freeway, it's hard for me to say it with my helmets tied on my chin, <laughs> freeway ride-along videos. I really enjoy those, by the way. There was one idea that really stuck out in my mind. If you like it, maybe it can be beneficial to your work. I was thinking of this. Here's the topic. Sean, you are a genius. This is a brilliant topic. The importance for a person, especially those faithful in God, to have the ability to keep a strong will or to keep their will strong. I'm sure you know what I mean by this, but just in case, another way of wording it, it is important for every person to hold their beliefs in God tight to them because if they don't, they can easily be dragged away from what is true. Believers need the ability to take in what they hear and if it is false, immediately throw it out. Sean, you are a genius. <laughs> that is an excellent topic, so let's ride. I got this new tank bag. It holds a lot more stuff. Ignition on. Kick stand up. Yes. Sean brings up a good topic. The ability to stay strong. To discern what is good, what is right. And to immediately throw out what is wrong. Yeah, you know, we have so many non-biblical, non-Christian like things in our society. I mean, you guys can turn on the TV and every channel will have the token person, you know, the token person living a sinful lifestyle that is against God. You know what I mean. Almost every channel. And it is being pushed very hard into society. We have uh, drug use being pushed hard into society. We have, uh, <clears throat> I'm sure we'd all agree, cussing and profanity has just gone too far. Like in, in rap music, some rap music, you know what cracks up about rap music too is <clears throat> they sing about gang violence and you know killing you've seen the videos where they're pointing the gun you know sideways and they're killing their gang member friend gang member friends their friends and them are killing the other gang I should say and um then they get go up there to win the award right for their CD and they say I'd like to thank God and stop the gang violence. Well, what the hell? Why are you glorifying it with your music, you hypocrite? So it is so true. Um, but you know what happens is people get conditioned. You know how it is. The first time you're at a movie theater and... I gotta get on it a bit. The first time you're at a movie theater and what happens is something comes across the screen and you you have the feeling like you should leave maybe you do walk out but then the second time it happens you're a little more conditioned see this is how how it works you get conditioned they keep bombarding your brain with this filth until no more are you insulted by it it's time we get insulted it's time we get offended by the filth and the evil that this world spews out. This is uh, what Sean is talking about is most of society 
is uh, anti-Christian. They are. Um, I've talked to some folks, you know, here on YouTube, and um, they'll say they're Christian, but then when I talk to them, they deny, like, practically all the Bible. <laughs> so they have an outward appearance of Christianity, but they're not. <clears throat> you know, Jesus talked about this. He said they're like whitewashed tombs. Outside they look beautiful, but inside they're like dead men's bones. They're full of dead men's bones. Hold on, my buckaroos. I gotta give it some throttle here. On the mean, unforgiving, evil freeways of the Inland Empire. So, we have got to stay strong as Christians. Don't sell out to the world. You know, this is what's happened with the Catholic Church. You know, I believe there are gonna be some Catholics in heaven, not because of the Catholic Church, but in spite of it. They have sold out. You know, what they're trying to do is get more people into the Catholic Church. So what they do is they go, well, you know, maybe evolution could be true. Oh, give me a break. And I've even seen, I'm going to talk about some controversial things. I've seen some people that are saying they're Christians, and then they're embracing the lie of evolution. They're embracing the evil liberalism. They embrace that. Um, they'll embrace, they'll say, well, you know what, the Bible doesn't say homosexuality is a sin when it says that in both the Old and the New Testament. And these people, I call them sellouts. And in the Bible, in Revelation, it talks about this, that uh, when it goes through the different churches, and there are some churches that have sold out. They no longer teach the true gospel. So like Sean says, it's like, you have to go ahead and stay strong. We got to do it for each other, uh, my sisters and brothers in Christ. Jesus said, "We're the salt. If salt loses its saltiness, how will it be salted? It is worthy of nothing but to be trampled, poured out on the floor, and trampled underfoot." I want to be the salt. Sean wants to be the salt. This is another thing too, I hope this guy doesn't get over, I got this feeling. Bottom, I got a squeeze in here. This is another thing too, is you mature to a point one day in your Christian walk where you realize you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to stand up for true biblical principles. You can't uh, live your whole life, let me get over here, complaining about how the world is, hoping someone else does something, you do come to a realization one day as a Christian where if it is to be, it is up to me. So stand up, you guys, at your workplace. Stand up for Christian values. Um, I'm going to say something, I can't see how long I've been talking, eight minutes, 30 seconds. I do it all the time here on YouTube. I don't care if it's unpopular. <laughs> As you guys know, I don't care what anyone thinks. I only care what one person thinks. What God thinks. Uh, we had a yoke to Jesus, yoke up. And people were viciously coming against them. I made a video standing up for them. We had Jesus Freak uh, 777 where people were viciously coming against him making videos uh, about how he was in Stickham and, and he supposedly talked bad to somebody and then I went in and I saw the video and it was the complete opposite. Jesus Freak 777 stood up for biblical value. I made a video about that. Saunders Acts 2618. I stood up for him when his channel was being attacked. Crazy 316, Fool for a Lifetime, two very bold brothers in Christ. And you guys that are bold for Christ, I want to tell you, you inspire me. It is such a joy to wake up in the morning and know there's people like you guys. D-Man for Christ, Water Your Tree for Life, Nephilim Free, Saunders Acts 2618. Tally, I know I'm leaving people out, but you guys are awesome. Stand firm for Christ. 
God bless you guys. Maranatha.